Number 8. Amy Abraham In December of 2016, California woman Amy Abraham and her younger sister Crystal were part of a kayaking tour, exploring the Wailua River on the Hawaiian island of Kauai as they crossed Uluwai Falls with a rope at around 5 p.m. The two women and others in their group were struck by a flash flood. It was considered an extremely rare occurrence as there hadn't been any rain, neither during the kayaking trip nor the associated hike. According to the owner of Kayak Wailua, the flood warnings had come well after the tour had commenced. The water suddenly swelled from slow moving and shallow to deep and raging. Crystal and the others were rescued, but Amy was swept from her sister's side and taken further downstream. Her lifeless body was pulled from the water the following day. Number 7. Attack on the Black Cat Track In September of 2013, Australian nurse Christy King was leading a trekking group through the Black Cat Track in Morobe Province, Papua New Guinea. King, who was then in her late 30s, believed it would be a dream job, but the PNG Trekking Adventures tour went horribly wrong within 24 hours. After making camp, King's group, consisting of 19 porters and 8 Australian trekkers, was ambushed by a gang of local bandits known as Rascals, who were armed with firearms, spears and bush knives. The expedition was robbed at gunpoint and two porters were hacked to death with machetes at the scene while others were left unable to walk after sustaining severe leg wounds. Trekker Nick Bennett was struck in the head with the butt of a firearm as he'd peeked out of his tent to check on the commotion. Tourist Peter Stevens looked up at one of the attackers and had a trekking pole thrown at him, which immediately lodged in his leg. Other trekkers were harmed but not to a life-threatening degree as they reportedly hadn't been the primary targets. It would later be determined that the rascal attack had been triggered by a local grudge related to money and the hiring of porters from different villages along the route. Following the ambush, the group had been left without shelter in the dark and with heavy rain pouring down on them. They were also terrified that the bandits might return. King then made the unenviable decision of leaving the injured porters behind with food, water and in the company of some of their unhurt colleagues. King and the others only left when they received confirmation that a rescue party was on its way. They emerged from the jungle without further incident. Rescue crews reached the porters at around midnight and used machetes to cut a helipad into dense vegetation. The injured were flown to Lei Hospital at first light. A few years later, the harrowing incident was documented in a book called Attack on the Black Cat Track by Max Carmichael. Number 6. Zoe Woolmer In June of 2018, towards the end of a guided tour through Kings Canyon in Australia's Northern Territory, British backpacker Zoe Woolmer climbed down to take a photo on the rim walk at Kestrel Falls. The 23-year-old tourist attempted to reach a hidden ledge but lost her footing and stumbled backwards. She fell roughly 50 feet and impacted the rocks below. Woolmer sustained skull fractures leading to bleeding on the brain, a fractured pelvis, broken back, sternum, and right shoulder blade. CPR was performed at the scene, but she succumbed to her injuries. An investigation into her death was subsequently set into motion. Directors of the Rock Tour, an Alice Springs-based company, pleaded guilty to failing to comply with their health and safety duty. Prior to the accident, correspondence between the Parks and Wildlife Commission and the Rock Tour indicated that the former had told the operator and other touring companies that they should stay at least six and a half feet away from the canyon edge at all times. Warning signs on the route clearly announced the dangers. A court was told that the guide on the hike had shown Woolmer how to take a daredevil photo on the unmarked path. The pose advertised on the Rock Tour social media was meant to make it look as if a tourist was clinging from the cliff. Woolmer did as had been demonstrated. She rolled onto her stomach on the edge, put her left foot down and then lowered her right foot, trying to find the rock ledge. As reported by a witness, she failed to reach the ledge at the anticipated moment, stepped on air and fell backwards. Number 5. Carly McConaughey and Adam Barnett On the last day of their holiday to Hawaii in October of 2018, Illinois couple Carly McConaughey and Adam Barnett went on a helicopter tour of Oahu 
35-year-old McConaughey and Barnett, aged 31, had gotten engaged during the holiday and were taking in the sights. While flying roughly a thousand feet over the Pacific Ocean, suddenly their 57-year-old pilot became unconscious after suffering an unspecified medical emergency and slumped over McConaughey. The couple initially thought he was playing a prank on them, but soon realized the gravity of the situation when the man wouldn't wake up and the helicopter was going down. From his seat in the back, Barnett reportedly started screaming at McConaughey to grab the controls. She did so and tried to pull up as they were about to crash. The helicopter went down on a sandbar in Kanohe Bay, but remarkably, the couple and pilot survived their ordeal. Referring to the crash, Barnett later told WGN-TV, It was one of the loudest things I can ever remember. McConaughey's crucial intervention had slowed the free fall enough for them to escape with their lives, but not unscathed. She and her fiancé were left with broken bones while the pilot suffered injuries to his back, neck and chest. Number 4. Lil Wayne Tour Bus Incident Rapper Dwayne Carter, better known by his stage name as Lil Wayne, was involved in an argument at an Atlanta nightclub with 25-year-old Jimmy Carlton Winfrey in April of 2015. The latter was a former road manager for rapper Young Thug, with whom Carter, then in his early 30s, had been engaged in a public feud at the time. Winfrey allegedly threatened the rapper at the club and then walked away. Later on, minutes after Carter and his entourage had left the venue, two of his tour buses were shot up in the drive-by. The authorities were called to the Mandarin Oriental Hotel on Peachtree Road at around 3.30 a.m. No injuries were reported, but the ensuing investigation revealed that Winfrey had been the culprit. He'd pulled up alongside the buses in his white Chevrolet Camaro and opened fire, causing roughly $20,000 worth of damages. It was reported that Winfrey then made calls to cell phones that were connected to Young Thug and Birdman, a former associate of Carter's with whom he'd also been feuding. Investigators determined that Winfrey had gone after the rapper in order to increase his street credibility and status within the Bloods gang, with whom all the aforementioned artists reportedly had ties. Winfrey was indicted on 30 counts, but they were ultimately dropped following a deal in which he pleaded guilty to six counts of violating the Street Gang Terrorism and Prevention Act. He was consequently sentenced to 10 years in prison. Number 3. Irenius Lutreski Polish tourist Irenius Lutreski was on a double-decker bus tour through London in August of 2015. As the vehicle, operated by Golden Tours, traveled on Woburn Place, Bloomsbury, it struck a low-hanging branch. Impacting the tree limb resulted in the bus's roof being ripped apart. At the time, Lutreski and his son were sitting in the front section of the top deck. The man was struck in the face with debris and a portion of his ear was lopped off. There were no fatalities, but several others of the 40 passengers were taken to the hospital, including a newlywed bride who was on her honeymoon. 49-year-old Lutreski was helped by a bystander who found him with half his ear hanging off. The severed piece was reattached, but the tourist later sued the company, claiming it bore responsibility for his life-changing injuries. During the investigation that followed, the authorities found that the bus driver had been distracted. CCTV footage taken in the moments leading up to the collision reportedly showed him with both hands off the steering wheel while he was examining a map. In the aftermath, Golden Tours admitted 95% liability in the accident and began settlement negotiations with Lutreski. Today's topic was requested by Cindy Sumner and JG91. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. James Nicholas Smythe A Florida man was arrested in December of 2021 after publicly admitting on Facebook that he'd repeatedly shot at a helicopter as it passed over his residence. The owner of Keys Helicopter Tours in Marathon saw the social media post in which 41-year-old James Nicholas Smythe claimed to have opened fire on his helicopter. He threatened to do it again if the aircraft continued to fly over Boot Key. Smythe was taken into custody by deputies from the Monroe County Sheriff's Office and admitted to the authorities that he'd made the post. Arrest records indicated that he was charged with felony intimidation. Number 1. Yumida Nazarova 21-year-old shop assistant Yumida Nazarova was interviewing for a new job at a factory in Borisov, Belarus, in early 2022. Senior staff from the Smamet plant 
which produced welding wire and electrodes, showed Nazarova around the premises. At some point during the tour, the young woman's loose hair got caught in a rotating mechanism. The incident allegedly occurred as the worker, accompanying her, paused to make a note in a register. Nazarova, who was reported to have been seven weeks pregnant at the time, was forcefully pulled towards the machine as her hair got wrapped around her neck and began tearing from her head. Hadn't the partial scalping occurred, Nazarova would have been strangled on the spot. She nevertheless suffered fatal injuries and never regained consciousness. An unnamed factory official was arrested for what local authorities deemed had been failure to fulfill her official duties due to dishonest and negligent attitude, causing the death of a person. Thanks for watching. Would you rather join an expedition exploring the deadliest parts of the Amazon or lead a group through the most dangerous parts of your city? Let us know in the comments section below.